Hey guys, Yuki here, showing you a little tutorial in Sony Vegas Pro 13 on a cool effect called Selective Color. This is a very neat little trick to be able to show everything in your picture as black and white, except for a certain color. So, I actually own the FDR AX33. It is a Sony camera that released a little over a year ago last April I do believe it was and it is a great camera and you can actually get this effect in camera so if I actually just hit play and let you guys watch this you can see how red and the orange is there so you can see that the red is there everything else is black and white but the best way for me to really talk about this I need to show you this spot right here so if we look at this fire truck we have a lot of gray on it where we should have red this fire truck every part of it that's red is red dumb sentence but you know what I mean so the seats supposed to be red this little area right here should be red and some of it up here is red um, and then going over here red and orange are very close together so things you need to keep in mind when you're shooting things like this. But we have orange spillage on the slide, as you can see down here. Uh, if we go over to here, if I can just, oops, wrong button entirely. If I zoom in, you can see a lot of the orange is missing from this little playhouse thing. And this is actually red. This, uh, Jungle Gym, it's red, and that's showing in black and white, but that's because the red that, there we go, nope, nope, there we go, the red that is this fire, fire truck is not the same red as this playground equipment. So let's show you how to do it in Sony, in Sony Vegas. Um, so. We need to go back to this fire truck because that's what we're going to be basing it off of. Now then, now that you can see in full color, you can see this is darker than this. This area right here, we have a lot of light red, and here we have a lot of darker red. And if we go back to the jungle gym, you can see this is a very dark red. And then we have our orange, which our, the orange is going to be carrying with us, and we just kind of have to accept that a little bit. I mean, there might be ways to be able to fine tune it, but in this tutorial, we're just going to simply go over how to do cutouts, everything but a certain color. So we're going to go to the secondary color corrector, not the color corrector, secondary. So then grab the default and just drop it on your clip. You're going to want to go to custom for this, okay? Select the color range. We're just going to click right here on our fire truck and it is now selected red. So let's drop our saturation down to nothing. Oh, right, right, right. I was wondering what was going on. I forgot, you have to click Invert Mask. That's extremely important. Because if you don't, we're only affecting these areas. So, you're going to want to click Invert Mask, which will select red as what is shown, not what's deleted. So if you don't invert the mask, you can get rid of certain colors and leave everything else. But that's not what this tutorial is about today. So. Now we want to take our limit saturations and go low and high all the way to the um, extremes, same for luminance, all the way low, all the way high. So now you can see we have red, but if you look at it, this is the same red as my camera got, which makes sense because that's basically what it was. So we can crank up the smoothness on both of these and that didn't do anything, didn't really do anything for us. But now, if we take the width, and the easy way for me to explain this is, we selected red, which is right up here, this little R. So we're up here in this area, and we're on not really a point now that we've done certain things uh, with our limits, but we are sitting up here in red. Now that we are going to take the area of effect and stretch it out. And as we stretch it out, we'll get more into the orange 
more into yellow, more into magenta. And then eventually we would get to blue and all those kinds of things. So if we grab that width and start stretching it and stretching it and stretching it and stretching it, you can see when we get here, we have all of that red because it kind of sees the lighter red as more of an orange color. And actually I want to tone it back just a pinch because we start having the fence coming into view. So we can also smooth that out, but smoothing that out stretches it more. So you get all of that red, but then you're also stretching into the yellow and orange. So we're gonna leave the smooth all the way down for the limit hue. It might work in some cases, but that's what you actually will have to do. But in this case, we're good. Let me just, okay, there we go. So now let's see what this has done for us. If we start scrubbing through our clip from the front, uh, from the front, in the beginning, we have the red of the jungle gym. It is a darker red, and it is now included with our selection. We have the orange because red and orange are a little bit too close. So if you're actually wanting to use this effect on red. Make sure there's no orange. Make sure you know what's going to be in the scene. So then we have the red of this little sand table, the red of the other car, and of course the red of the fire truck that we based it all off of. So that's everything that we have. And if we go back into our effect, then we can actually do that invert mask and then see we have this is black and white and everything else is color like i was kind of saying at the beginning and then of course orange is going to go black and white from this as well and if you possibly want to do like an old timey character like betty boop in who framed roger rabbit she was black and white white while everybody else was color you could kind of do that kind of thing you just have to color your character properly to stand out from the rest of the colors in your scene to be able to then isolate them and of course be able to use this effect. So I think I legitimately just in yeah I just reset the entire thing. Yep. Just a second. Okay we are back after I just fixed that. Sorry about that. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was rotate hue. As you can see, it's not doing anything. That's because our saturation is all the way down. So if I bring our saturation back up to normal, then we just have our scene here. Remember, the red is still selected and our mask is inverted. Granted, we can do this and it will invert everything. Actually, by having saturation set there, it's actually higher than it should be. Okay, I think we're good there. Okay. So with our mask inverted, let's uninvert it first. Rotate hue is going to do a really cool thing. If we start going through it, we can change the color of the car. So we can have blue, green, purple, you know, from red to red. Basically, we can change this to any color we want. You can do that with a t-shirt. You can do that with like any solid color that you're able to select. Now let's invert the mask. And then we can do some really crazy stuff and have everything in our world get rotated. Meanwhile, our selected color stays the same. So you could actually have such as Film Riot's effect of Popping Betty's where they did a UV style effect. You can do that by rotating the hues. Now then, that'll be a little more complicated to isolate an entire person and rotoscoping might be your last resort, which we all hope we never have to roto because rotoing is terrible, really. Really, just, it's horrible. But, you know, there are some people that are crazy enough to like rotoscoping. So yes, this is a quick and dirty little look at secondary color corrector. A lot of fun things you can do with it. Adjusting all these settings, I probably won't adjust that one. Wow, there we go. Um, so, you just need your selector, need your mask, 
and then you need to decide how you want to use all those things and then go make your movie and make it as cool as you want it to be. One really simple use is, let's say you had a car in a commercial and you, not a commercial, in your video and you needed a car that looked just like it but a different color, you could use this to switch colors and then it could then magically be a completely different car. As long as it doesn't have like decals on it and something like that in specific locations, but you know what I mean. You get me. Okay, so that is going to be it for today. My name has been Yuki, and I will see you guys in the next video. By the way, videos are now going to be Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, not every other day. When, uh, weekends are going to be a little bit more of a relaxation slash get ready for the week of videos. So yeah. Um, that's going to be it for today. My name is Minyuki, and we'll see you guys in the very near future. Goodbye.